me again, Jen, and welcome back to my channel. So, for today's video, pag-uusapan natin kung paano mag-open ng bank account dito sa Sweden. Ano-ano nga ba yung mga requirements para makapag-open ng bank account? At kung mahirap nga ba mag-open ng bank account? I will tell you my story on how do I open my bank account here in Sweden. So, if you want to know more, please keep on watching. you need to provide to open a bank account here in Sweden. First is your valid ID or your Skatterberget ID. And then second is proof that um, you will be receiving money regularly or monthly. Like for example, if you are expecting to receive money from the government of Sweden, like a child allowance and your student grant. And then if you are working, of course, you have to provide your... Um, slip or work contract. My experience in opening a bank account here in Sweden is not that easy and it's not smooth. When I get my personal number and my Skatterberget ID on November, I try to open a bank account in Swedbank in Solna. However, um, the teller did not allow me to open a bank account yet. Though I am expecting to receive a child allowance, um, the teller advised me to just come back if I already have the decision letter from Portia Krinkasan telling that I will starting to receive a money on this month and so on and so on. So, hindi ako agad naka-open ng bank account. So, yun, nag-try tayo mag-open ng bank account noong November 2021. Pero hindi tayo pinalad. So, after nun, nag-aral uh, muna ako ng SFE. And then, when I finish it, uh, I have plans. When I finish my SFE, I have plans on continuous studying or to take a two-year course here in Sweden. And since uh, I have plan in taking a course here in Sweden, I apply for CSN and student grant. So, madali namang na-approve yung CSN ko and yung student grant ko. Nung nakuha ko na yung decision ng student grant ko and telling na this month I will be receiving student grant, that's the time na bumalik ako sa Sweet Bank Solna. But then, <laughs> hindi pa rin ako pinalad. Nung bumalik ako sa Sweet Bank Solna, hindi pa rin ako pinalad na maka-open ng bank account. Dahil, um, they said that if I want to open a bank account in Solna, I need to book an appointment first. And the earliest possible date that I can have uh, appointment is on June. And my course will start around last week of, or third week of May. So I really need to have a bank account before I start my my course because uh, saan papasok yung student grant ko if I don't have bank account and the teller then said that if you really need to open a bank account urgently um, you go try in Sweet Bank Sumbiberi they sometimes uh, allow you to open a bank account without an appointment so I try to go in Sweet Bank Sumbiberi and try to open a bank account. And fortunately, finally, they allow me to open a bank account in um, Sweet Bank Sumbiberi. Napakabait nung nag-assist sa akin sa Sweet Bank Sumbiberi. So, yeah. But then, uh, they allow me to open a bank account in Sumbiberi. However, they did not give me mobile bank ID yet. So, pinayagan lang nila ako mag-open ng bank account. But, uh, they said that we will give you mobile bank ID once we see that the money is coming in your account. So, I said to them that, oh, I am also working but I only work every other week. Like, um, I only work three to four times per month. So, from... Every Saturday and Sunday lang ako nag-work. 
um, part-time lang. So, they said, oh, if you will receive your money on 25th, you can come back and we will happily um, give you your mobile bank ID. So, when I get my first salary at work, I go back to uh, Sweet Bank Sumbiberi and they give me my mobile bank ID. So, ayun guys, when you open a bank account here in Sweden, um, you need to wait for 3 to 5 banking days and they will send you your card in your home address. And then after that, you also need to wait for another 1 week for your PIN code kasi magkahiwalay nilang i-send yun sa inyo. And also, for the mobile bank ID, like what I said, they give me the bank ID when uh, I already had my salary in my account. So, yun. Bali, na una kasi yung mobile bank ID ko kesa sa PIN code na dumating. I did not wait for my PIN code anymore because I already have my bank ID. And for me to be able to activate my account or my card, um, I need the PIN code. But once you have your mobile bank ID, you can see your PIN code online through your mobile bank ID. So, yeah. Napaka-importante ng mobile bank ID dito sa Sweden. Without it, you cannot... I can say that you cannot do anything at all online when you don't have that mobile bank ID. So, you cannot, for example, if you try to send money from your home country, uh, you, you need a mobile bank ID. When you go on um, government website here in Sweden, in able to log in, you need a mobile bank ID. So, ganun siya ka-importante. So, that's my experience on opening a bank account here in Sweden. Uh, I hope nakabigay ako ng mga informasyon na tulungan ko kayo kung paano mag-open ng bank account dito. And if you like this video, please don't forget to give it a like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, bye!